another week, another tragedy. In this tumultuous time in our nation and world, as we enter into the season of Advent and move toward Christmas, I'm reminded of one of the most persistent themes of the Christmas narrative. Fear not. It's repeated multiple times by the angels in Luke's telling of the Christmas story, first to Zechariah announcing that his prayers have been answered, then to Mary foretelling the birth of Jesus, and finally to the shepherds bringing them good news of great joy for all people. And it's not just in the Christmas story. Throughout scripture, when God speaks to people, God begins by telling them to not be afraid. From the story of Abram in the first book of the Bible, to the encouragement Jesus gives his disciples before his arrest and crucifixion, to the way the angels greeted the women at the tomb on Easter morning, to God's word to John in the closing book of Revelation. Throughout the entire Bible, we're called to cast fear aside and to take comfort in the knowledge and trust that God is with us, even and especially in the midst of our trials. One of the reasons that God so often in scriptures gives us this command to not fear is because God is a God of love. And one of the greatest obstacles to fully experiencing love is fear. Whether we're talking about personal relationships or our relationships in community or our relationships as a nation to the rest of the world, if we react out of fear, if we are so concerned about whether or not we may be hurt or things may go wrong, if we act from a base of fear rather than from a base of love and hope and possibility, we rob ourselves of the possibility of love. We rob ourselves of the better way that Jesus came to show us. Scripture tells us that fear and love cannot coexist. 1 John 4 says, perfect love casts out fear. Scripture also tells us that we're created not in a spirit of fear, but in a spirit of love. The spirit of God's love that overflows into us through creation and especially at Christmas that comes to us through the spirit of Christ. So as we prepare to move ever closer to celebrating that birth of Christ, may we all celebrate it in hope and in joy and in peace. May we operate out of a foundation of love, not fear.